Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta talk about this one with the GTA 5 heist music playing in the background. Cause holy smoke, is it ain't no jokers, okay? We had the Mr. T likes to fight situation, and that was raging wildfires for a minute, or I should say for two months, okay? For two months, till Mr. T likes to fight came out, dropped his response, cleared his name with the evidence, right? And in doing so, he also did expose uh, Noah J456, the Smith plays as well, and he exposed a bunch of other dudes, right? Like JC Backfire as well. But today, apparently, Noah J456 dropped our video though yay we're gonna get into the story and right as we get through this one guys the only thing if you can learn one thing from this video never date a hello kitty girl okay don't chase the pom pom chase your dreams like the video if you agree with that don't let your dragons do the 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 thinking for you okay you gotta be the one in charge if you guys do use twitter i would definitely love to have you on twitter but this what happened today we're gonna actually get into it roll it two weeks ago someone i used to call my friend mr t likes if i made multiple false allegations about my friends and i none of the people who know him in real life or even lived with him for years will ever associate with lex ever again i didn't want to make an entire video explaining why but when you come after me and you lie about my friends you leave me no choice context apparently mr t likes if i was accused of pdf file he was accused of like other stuff grooming this and that and, 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 and just bunch of stuff okay he cleared his name and he exposed noah j456 and other people in the the situation and, and he exposed that noah j456 cheated on his wife all right so that that what happened and that's what he's talking about right now which uh, he did made a live stream and people clowned on him because he was apologizing to viewers, not necessarily his wife. That happened. Um, this is not my opinion. That's ex exactly what happened, right? And now he's uh, making this video. So let's uh, get into and it. And I want to make it clear. I have no interest in anything other than setting the record straight and then moving on from this situation. Lex mm -hmm. told his fans that his closest friends backstabbed him and threw him under the bus for no reason. In reality, the reason we don't see him with Lex any longer are because of the reasons I'm about to show you. It's also important uh -oh. to mention that every single piece of proof you're about to hear comes comes directly from Lex or his documents. In August of 2017, Lex brought a girl named Reagan over to the Z House. If you're unaware, the Z House was a content house comprised of five different YouTube content creators that made videos together and featured other creators such as myself who would often visit the house. When Lex first brought Reagan over to the Z House, he told everyone she was 18 years old. Two weeks ago, Lex released a document and a YouTube video titled My Ex in response to the allegations made by his ex-girlfriend Reagan. In those documents, we found out that uh, yeah, th this is that video he released and we found out that she was crazy, right? She was crazy, but it's gonna it, it's we need to be fair We need to also hear the other side as well, which is of course no IJ 456 side Lex knew Reagan was the allegations made by his ex-girlfriend Reagan. In those documents, we found out that Lex knew Reagan was underage and lied to all of us in the Z House about it. It is very important to note that when my friends first met Reagan, Reagan had asked me to lie to them about her age. The night that Lex brought Reagan over, he was 19 years old, and we thought Reagan was 18 years old because that's what Lex told us. But in reality, Reagan was 16 years old that night, two years below the age of consent in California. Okay, so age 19 years, 5 months, 25 days, okay, and she was 16, 8 months. Holy crap. Now, here's the thing though, right? Um, yeah, uh, what, uh, Lex is not, Lex has made mistakes as well, right? But to call Lex a PDF, you know what I mean? Come on now, bro. Like, Lex was 19, she was almost 17, right? Just a 2 years gap though. And in cer certain U.S. states, bro, like, the age of consent is 16. Now, had it been that Lex was, for example, let's just say... 30 40 then understandable then yeah the outrage would have been understandable but uh still not defending lex here but what is true is true right the age of consent is 16 in a lot of different u.s states i'm talking united states i'm not talking about different countries there uh but what lex did uh i guess the, the biggest thing the biggest mistake that he made was lying about that entire situation to his friends right so i understand where no 456 is coming from California. Thinking it somehow absolved him of any wrongdoing, Lex then revealed in his video that he knew Reagan was an underage obsessed fan. Another important thing to mention is that Reagan was an obsessive fan of mine. She fetishized me before I even knew who she was. I never used my influence to engage with her. She was the first person to message me and enact any sort of a relationship. When I learned about all of this two weeks ago, I felt so betrayed that someone I considered my friend would bring an underage fan into what was supposed to be a safe place amongst friends and continuously lie about her age. I would like to apologize Damn. to anybody that has been affected by the situation in a negative manner. Specifically, I would like to formally apologize to Pat 
or the yeah. Smith plays and everyone involved at the Z house where Reagan made me lie about her age to you. Lex frames this as if somehow Reagan had the power to force- I I'm not sure if he's gonna show the Noah J456 is gonna show the follow-up part or not, but apparently what Lex was saying in that video, he did apologize and also he did say that apparently Smith plays and all of his so-called friends, Noah J456, JC Backfire, they didn't even want it to hear Mr. T Lexify side, which is absolutely pathetic, right? Like, holy crap, like, damn, you guys were his so called friends. Uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna bring that up or not, but it's important to add that in context because otherwise, you know, uh, some people would think that Mr. T Lexify is like 100% bad, uh, and some people might think that Noaji456 is 100% bad. Here's the thing though, we gotta be fair, we gotta look at both sides, and I truly do believe that the truth is right in the middle, right? You got Mr. T Lexify side, and you got Noah J456 side, and you got like that chick side as well. And, and uh, the truth is kind of like in the middle. Point and the moral of the story here is this, guys. Don't let your dragons go in the dark tunnel, okay? Don't let your dragons uh, do the thinking for you. You gotta be the one in charge. And in Urdu, real quick, I gotta say this, man. Yar mujhe nahi pata ki kya ho raha hai, okay? Like Lex, main Lex ki nono ka aisa chhod ke nahi laga na, jo mujhe sab kuch pata ho. Exactly my point, right? Uh, <laughs> all right, let Bruh. me get back into let, let let's get, let me get back into the character. Here we gotta speak in English. Him to lie to his friends, but no, he chose to lie to us. He chose to continuously lie to his closest friends. And this entire situation was not even the only interaction with a minor that he admitted to. Lex was talking to a 13 year old fan while he was 20 years old to discuss his relationship problems. Alex was a fan of my channel who had messaged me first because I momentarily opened my Twitter DMs to the public. What? Alex was the one who initiated the conversation with me. Our communication included a short Skype call during which I discussed the abuse I was currently experiencing with my ex-girlfriend, Reagan. The conversation was strictly non-sexual and was never taken anywhere inappropriate. Alex was simply okay. a kind fan that I confided in after a heated argument with my ex-girlfriend, Reagan. Lex put this tweet from the 13-year-old fan. Okay, a, a little weird, I agree. But what if, uh, but with what Lex is saying, he didn't, it's like that doctor disrespect kind of situation, right? Like a lot of people are accusing him. A lot of people are defending him. I guess uh, people that are accusing him, here's the thing though, Doc himself has admitted to it. So that's the thing, but now he has deleted that post and we're now waiting for his comeback. Maybe he's gonna come back and drop his new response and maybe he's gonna drop receipts. So when that happens, we're gonna talk about it. But but yeah, a lot of people are still defending Doc because people are like, uh, hey, we need to see the proof uh, that maybe it wasn't that bad. Some people are not, uh, uh, some people are accusing him understandably because of what Doc himself said. He did say that sometimes the conversation that he was having with a minor would lean inappropriately. There were rumors that it was gonna, it was a 17 year old that Dr. Disrespect was communicating with, but that's just a rumor. We don't know the age, right? That's the thing though, we don't know the age. If it turns out that it was a 17 year old, then yeah, it wouldn't sound that bad. Versus if it was, you still cannot defend him, but I mean, it wouldn't sound as bad as, for example, if we find out that Doc was apparently inappropriately chatting with a 13 year old for per se, right? Y you know what I mean? Like there are degrees to it, right? But here's the thing though, I was not there. We're just watching what's going on on the internet and it's, and it's crazy, it's crazy. Now what we're learning and we're finding out is that yeah, Lex apparently was uh, talking to Alex who was 13 years old at the time. Now if you want to believe Lex, because that's his words, that he wasn't necessarily having chatting inappropriately, right? He was just talking as a fan. But what's weird, uh, he was talking to his fan, right? Yeah, I, I guess nothing wrong with that as long as you don't take the conversation inappropriately. You can be like, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching the videos. Th this and that. Yeah, that's simple, right? That's simple. But uh, but here's the thing, though. I believe Lex was talking with that 13-year-old about his relationship with Ren. You know, th this chick out here, this is why I said, man, never date he hello, hello, hello Kitty Girls, okay? Never do that. <laughs> Don't do that. They're gonna ruin your life. And after all, man, what we're learning here is that because of one random Hello Kitty Girl, the entire Zombies community has been ruined. It's like, holy crap, right? Like, no, J456 got dragged into it. M uh, uh, Patrick, the Smith plays, who's retired from YouTube? Who's retired from zombies, right? Like, he sometimes comes and makes videos here and there, which is totally fine, but he's retired. He got dragged into it. Like, literally everybody got dragged into it, except for, like, Mr. Waffle Waffles and some other zombie YouTubers, because they're not necessarily touching anything about it, and that's fair. I mean, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it, right? But just one chick just ruined everything. This is why I'm, I'm saying, man, don't chase the pom-pom, guys. 
chase your dreams brothers chase your dreams you're always gonna get dividend from chasing your dreams man like don't chase these hoes bruh like don't do it don't do it now the weird part like i said is that if this is true if lex was talking about his relationship uh with that alex 13 year old chick it, it's weird though i i get it like maybe lex was hurt but you don't talk about that crap with uh, your other fan that is 13 years old right you, you feel what i'm saying yeah like well, uh, mis mistakes are being made by everybody okay nobody's nobody's like 100 percent here but let's uh continue let's see and on screen during his video in defense that he did nothing wrong what he failed to do was mention or address the tweet that triggered all of this this tweet from the fan alleges that lex actually mind you he dm me first and continued talking to me and scott me after i told him i was 13 even saying he wanted a friend in ireland he could come visit knowing my age and that i was a fan Damn. yo that is that is crazy man that is crazy man actually knew her age and continued talking to her and quote wanted a friend in ireland that he could come visit where she lived to be clear lex had plenty of adult friends who were always there for him and constantly giving him their time and effort in order to help him with his relationship problems an adult conversing with a middle school aged girl about his relationship problems is incredibly inappropriate the defense that nothing illegal happened oh, absolutely does not excuse this behavior i hope it's clear now that lex's claim that we were the bad friends is absolutely false in fact the only thing i personally did to him was say this on stream um literally all i can say about it is i'm like kind of behind i like partially saw a video someone made about it pop up in my recommended um but like at the end of the day if there is anything a illegal or b morally wrong that happened then like that is obviously condoned at the or like not condoned what's the opposite of condoned condemned oh my god thank you thank you Sammy. condemned just want no but in all seriousness if anything any sort of wrongdoing was done it is condemned at the highest level man this black ops 6 marketing is insane bro i never thought that black ops 6 marketing is gonna be like this man why why you know the, the craziest thing is that back in the days when black ops 3 zombies was out people would always give black ops 3 zombies community as an example i look at how friendly this community is right look at everybody's coming together right this and that and, and before we get black ops 6 bro this is what happens man this is insane man this is insane we're getting like back and forth right I i'm not sure if lex is gonna respond to this or not but here's the thing though i feel like that if you're a fan of either or not a fan now or used to be a fan or still a fan I i'm not sure where you at let me know your thoughts for sure in the comments and wait for it there's a lot more uh the honest the honest truth here is that we should not jump to conclusions regardless, right? Because uh, we did hear... I, I remember, like, everybody went crazy on Mr. t -Lex, if I know. I don't think Mr. t -Lex is a PD guy, right? But now with this new information at hand, with, uh, like, the fact that he was, like, mm, uh, talking with a 13-year-old. Now, if he didn't say anything, like, you know what I mean, inappropriate, then he's good. He's good. If he didn't meet with her and had, like he didn't if he it's crazy that i'm even trying to say this but if he didn't advance inappropriately then it's fine right he, he's good but what's weird again is that he was talking about his relationship i get it brother was hurt i get that part but like damn you know what i mean like even if you don't like noah g456 after what happened noah has a point though i'm trying to be fair here i'm trying to be fair here because uh uh, after I saw the, uh, if you guys watched the video, right, we reacted to the uh, Mr. T-Lexify's response, right? I was on Mr. T-Lexify's side. I still kind of am, but gotta be fair here, man. Like, I gotta be fair here. We gotta listen to both sides here. But still, let's not jump to conclusions. It's still kind of like, uh, it's a he said, she said kind of situation. Noah J, it looks like that to me. I'm gonna be honest here. It looks like that Noah J is trying to clear his name, which he has the absolute God-given right okay looks like that uh, mr t lexify was trying to clear his name which is perfectly fine as well it feels like to me that everybody's trying to clear their name and not necessarily own up to the mistakes and to be fair though it's like their private life Ex for example like noj456 said this is what i said before and i'll still say this because what we're learning is that mr uh, noj456 did cheat on his wife 
I'm not defending Noah here. What he did was not good, morally not good, ethically not good, and uh, yeah, it's just not good, right? It's just not good. But here's the thing, I'm not gonna judge him though, because that's between him, his ex-wife, his new wife right now, or new girlfriend, uh, and between God, if he believes in God. If he doesn't believe in God, then of course that's between him, his ex, and the, the chick he cheated with, and his new wife or girl, right? You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna judge him on that. The same thing I would say for Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect openly admitted a uh, couple of years ago that he did cheat on his wife i'm not gonna i'm not defending him but that's like between you know what i mean like he did cheat with a consenting adult so we cannot uh uh, at least me, like, I'm not gonna judge him, though. I know the internet's gonna judge, and absolutely, once it's on the internet, it's on the internet, right? We saw the memes. People did go crazy in the comment section of Noaja456 under where he admitted to all that crap. You know what I mean, right? Like, of course, it's the internet. Once it's out, it's out there, right? Yeah, like, was the same thing happened with the Dr. Disrespect. The day he admitted to it, oh, man, the internet ate him alive, okay? The, the, the day he admitted to it, uh, the, the memes were crazy. Now, some people just jokingly drop memes and they don't mean what they say right but still it can hurt a brother out right it can I, I feel like that it did hurt but that was like years ago right and this situation is also gonna pass but yeah man like i don't think anybody was ready for these plot twists it, it's insane man like this black of six marketing is insane level Jeez, i like it's demon. and it's disappointing at the highest level that stream clip is the only public thing I ever said, aside from commenting three hearts on the Smith Plays video where he said he can no longer support you after learning about you. Unsubscribe game. <laughs> Unsubscribe game. Now, uh, yeah, Noah, uh, here's the thing though, in defense of Noah, I guess, like, he is, what he's saying is true. He didn't openly and publicly said because I feel like that that's his friend and he don't necessarily want to defend him nor attack him. I get that part. I get that part. Maybe he didn't have uh, all the facts. I, I'm not there. I'm not sleeping with these dudes. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm just a guy like you I'm just trying to see like both sides there uh, Makes sense though makes sense But I feel like that this is what hurt Lex because according to mr. T Lexify the Smith plays and all these uh, youtubers his so-called friends did not want to hear mr. T Lexify side so he felt betrayed and I understand that part like that's that's the the, the thing that I, I feel like hurt the most That's the, that's the thing that hurt the most uh, right? By your actions. And even more than that, Lex turned around in his video and backstabbed the people that supported him for years by making up blatantly false allegations against us. Lex told his audience that our friend JC cheated on his girlfriend Emmy with his girlfriend's sister at Coachella. Lex said this about someone who he once called a close friend. JC's family has welcomed Lex into their home multiple times. Every single person who is at that Coachella this year can tell you that this never happened. In fact, his only proof that this happened was a text message from his ex-girlfriend Reagan, which he had just spent the previous 20 minutes of video telling us exactly why not a single word she says should be trusted. If you want to trust my ex-girlfriend so much, here's a post Reagan made about seeing you cheat on Emmy with her sister Kate at Coachella. Now, now to be fair though, like I've seen that response from Mr. T. Lexify and from what I got, I feel like that everybody has different interpretation and my interpretation, interpretation could definitely be wrong here but what i got from mr t likes is that hey that that chick that this hello kitty girl cannot be trusted cannot be trusted because at one point she did say that jc backfire cheat on his girl with his girl's sister so see what i'm saying like don't trust her don't trust her this chick is crazy this chick is crazy don't trust her Right, that's the vibe I got after hearing Mr. T. Lexifier's response. Now, I'm not sure how everybody else uh, understood that. Maybe some people took that. I feel like that some people definitely took that for real, for real. That this exactly what happened, right? Of what Lex was saying, I think Lex should have been a lot more clear when he said that. I understood what he was saying, but, you know, generally speaking, I feel like that if you're making a... If you're dropping a response, you should be a lot more clear. With it, I feel like that a lot of people took it as in that JC really, really did do that. But what Lex was saying is that uh, Ren, uh, Mr. T Lex by X, this chick, this Hello Kitty girl, was saying that uh, JC Backfire was cheating with his girl's sister, essentially, at Coachella when Noah J456 Smith plays and everybody was around. Y yeah, that, that's what, but, but still, drama is crazy. Let's see what uh, Noah's got to say. Hella. Everybody in our group saw your inexcusable actions and were utterly shocked that you would be sensually touching your girlfriend's sister in front of all of us while Emmy was not there. So either A, Lex decided for this one instance in the entire video to believe his girlfriend and throw out the allegation that was completely <coughs> false against JC. 
or B, he actually was using this as a point to say, oh look, don't trust my ex-girlfriend about anything. It's a horrible way to make a point to throw your friend under the bus like that. Yeah, uh, nah, to be fair though, uh, yeah, no, nah, he Noah has a point on this one though. He has a point, like I'm saying, uh, he should have been a lot more clear with that, a lot more precise with that, because I feel like that after Lex made that, uh, a lot of people started taking it in a wrong direction. You, you know what I mean? That's the only part though. Uh, that's the only part, but... Which makes the next thing he said even worse. Touching your girlfriend's sister in front of all of us while Emmy was not there. I don't think PlayStation Studios wants to associate with the cheater who defends pedophiles such as my ex-girlfriend Reagan. What you are seeing on screen is every single person that Lex manipulated into thinking that JC was a backstabbing snake and a cheater. And <laughs> <laughs> JC back by JC Boof. <laughs> I hope you lose. Yeah, that that's crazy, right? Because the internet always goes crazy like that. M the point that I'm trying to make here is that uh, we should not like really uh, attack uh, people that fast. We gotta hear like both sides. Uh, and what we're learning is that we we all make mistakes though myself included you guys watching like these suckers made mistakes as well right no j456 absolutely mr t likes five absolutely like both of these suckers we all make mistakes though right i i all I, I do believe in second chances now there are of course certain things and certain aspects of life where you can perhaps forgive but you gotta move the f on right for example right it looks like that uh no j456 uh for okay i'm not gonna use that as an example but for example right if much if my chick cheated on me, right? Oh, I'm moving the F on. Yeah, it's over, right? I might forgive her, but I'm moving the F on, right? I do believe in second chances, though, but there are certain aspects of life where you cannot, like, give second chances, though. But it's about, like, I guess forgiving and moving the F on, right? But in a, a lot of other aspects, I guess, uh, yeah, like, uh, second chances are understandable, but in some aspects, not really. Point is that it's a cluster F of a situation, man. I want to know where you guys at with it. And tried to get him fired from his job when he did absolutely nothing wrong. It is so wild to see Lex so viciously attack someone that he used to consider a close friend. JC is also the person, maybe more than anyone, who has tried to help out Lex the most with his problems throughout the years. The person whose dad took Lex in, let him Damn. stay at his house for extended periods of time, and treated him like another son. At the time of recording this video, Lex's video that slanders me, JC, and the Smith plays has 1.5 million views. The Jeez. reputational damage that Lex has done on a complete lie simply because he wanted to deflect from his own allegations is insane. What you see here is only even a small sliver. There are thousands of comments across his YouTube and other social media accounts. Lex then accused me of personally inviting Mini Lad. No, uh, whoa, 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 tranquilo, papi, tranquilo, tranquilo. Now, here's the thing though. Now, now what he didn't mention here, what, uh, no, J456 didn't mention again like it, it, this video feels like that he's just defending himself he's making some good points though but i've seen like mr tlexify's response as well and, and by the looks of it what it feels like here is that i hope this uh okay that, yeah uh, whoa i thought that this was a boss battle with a chick with god of war right i i was afraid that mommy milkers would show up on the video okay that's genuinely what i was afraid of if you played god of war you know what i mean right okay thank god that didn't Bruh. happen all right but but here's the thing though it feels like that mr tlex fan no g456 they're not necessarily out there to drop like both sides but they're just out there to defend themselves all, all, all right because the the point that i i heard from mr tlex fire here is that I, Mr. T Lex Five feel felt betrayed, right? Because JC Backfire, Smith plays, no G four five six. They didn't even wanted to hear his side. They simply just wanted to cut ties with him uh, instantly, based off of this Hello Kitty girl, uh, whatever she said, right? And uh, Mr. T Lex Five also brought this point up that after everything that we've been through, he was talking to JC Backfire in the video. After everything that we've been through. You couldn't sign my visa stuff for the US. Basically, Mr. T Lex was in Canada and he wanted to go to the US, right? I guess for work purposes, he wanted that work visa, right? Or something like that, right? Yeah, that's what he mentioned. He didn't necessarily elaborate too much, but that's the part he was talking about. And uh, JC Backfire just couldn't sign that, couldn't take like some, uh, he's in his own words, couldn't take two minutes, 10 minutes, uh, something like that. That's what Mr. T said. Uh, appreciate you subscribing. Thank you, welcome on in. Gang, gang, brother, gang, gang. He couldn't take time to sign his visa application after everything he'd been through. With after everything they've been through, so yeah, what I got from that response, Lex felt betrayed by his friends, right? I guess it's a sucky situation, right? Like, and now what we're learning is that, uh, yeah, Mr. T Lex Five was making a point that 
it's this chick that started the rumors of JC Backfire cheating with his girl sisters. Uh, on his sister, oh, on his girl with his sister, right? Just confusing, just big cluster F, right? And people now taking that literally. So it's a problem. It, it, it really is a problem. There's just a lot of rumors right now. A lot of rumors right now. YouTube and other social media accounts. Lux then accused me of personally- So I, I, I understand. I really understand like why no one 456 would feel betrayed with this one, uh, JC Backfire and Smith Place, if this is true. And I also understand why Lex would feel betrayed, because l from the side of Lex, these suckers didn't even manage to hear his side, right? And uh, it looks like that they were avoiding him completely, and they were like, hey bro, like, we don't want part of it, which is a sucky situation, you guys were his friends, right? But still, it's like, Lex actually <laughs> exposes them, <laughs> Lex exposes them, so... And now they feel betrayed, you feel what I'm saying? I feel like that it's just a cluster F of a situation, and the moral of the story here is that, man, don't trust Hello Kitty girls, alright? If they look like this, man, don't trust them, bruh. Don't trust them, man. Don't chase the dragon. Or, I mean, don't let your dragon chase the dark tunnels. I get it. I get it. Right? You, you, your dragon gotta go through a tunnel. A dragon must go through a tunnel. I understand that part. I understand that part, alright? But make sure it's not a dark tunnel, though. Don't chase the pom pom, guys. Chase your dreams, man. Chase your dreams. Alright, like the video if you understand that, dislike if you don't understand that, I don't know man, but wait for it. Inviting Mini Lad, a YouTuber accused of talking to underage individuals to my DJ set in Los Angeles. I want to make this very clear. I did not invite Mini Lad to come see me DJ, nor do I condone any alleged actions with underage individuals ever. Lex tried okay. to use Mini Lad's appearance in the crowd as definitive proof that I had invited him to my DJ set. I guess it makes sense considering Noah also invites pedophiles to his own DJ sets. Not only is this reason absolutely insane to say something as a fact, but here are several facts that actually prove otherwise. The first is that the event coordinators themselves confirmed he was actually invited by an entirely different party. The second you can see on the flyer that I'm actually not on because because I was a last minute booking, is that this is an open invite event with over 400 people on the guest list that I don't even have access to. I also don't have any control over whether or not a venue does or doesn't let a random person into the building. To further demonstrate all of these points, I'm gonna show this clip from the actual DJ set. As you can see, 15 minutes into the set, a group of people arrives and this is the first time he shows up behind me. I have no idea who arrived or who is behind me because I'm focused on DJing. As you can see, these people arrive and then this is the first time he shows up in the background. He stands in the background for about five minutes, never once do I see him or interact with him, and then about five minutes later, he starts talking with the people he arrived with, and then they disappear from the video, never to be seen again in the entire set. Everyone that I came to this set with is on the right side. As you can see, he's back here talking to the people he arrived with, and then he disappears from the video, and I do not see him the entire event. For reference, here are the people that actually came with me to the DJ set, who haven't moved the entire set and stayed there for the entire hour. So let me state this one more time. Mini Lud was invited to this public event by someone else entirely, and Lex lied about it in order to deflect from his own allegations again. The next thing Lex said is that Z House 3 didn't happen because of me when he was staying in an Airbnb with Chop and Pat in 2021. This house was never discussed as being an actual Z House 3 as Lex states, and ironically, Lex- Uh, working on my video, can I get a quote from you on whether or not the Texas Airbnb was ever supposed to be a Z House 3 as Lex claims? Damn! Okay, so Chopper says that from the conception of the house, there were talks among all the members of how focused it was to be on group content. It feels somewhere between a content house where all the members are making content together all the time and a house where YouTubers just happen to live under the same roof. The wife was like, we're all doing our own thing, but we'll get together for a, for a group content when it arises naturally. We never had mandatory recording sessions together or anything, more just like we would stream together one night if someone had an idea. It was very relaxed in that regard and not at all a regulated Z House type thing. It was never a Z House 3 and it was never advertised as such. That wording was never used in regards to this house, which is why I was confused when I heard it referred to as Z House 3. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's talking a little bit in riddle though, I understand like Chopper don't want any part of this. I'm totally fair, if you don't want any part of this, I can understand that. He's referring to Lex and Noja456, I believe, just wanted uh, his uh, side to drop it in the video, right? I, I wouldn't say that's evidence. I mean, it, to be honest, in the court of law, that, that 
in a court of law this can be a testimonial right like a testimony uh, eyewitness 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 guy right uh right it, it's crazy man it is crazy holy smoke is this was the fireball tutorial that you guys were waiting for man sheesh man Sheesh, that's crazy. X actually knows the exact person for the reason Z House 3 doesn't exist. This is a sore subject for me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm going to be honest. Matt, yeah. It's funny because the last thing I remember about, this was the third year we were going to do it, right? We were deciding whether or not we were going to do it for the third summer. So that's 2019? 20, 2018. I want to say 2018. 18. 18. Yeah. Jack was down. Chucky, believe it or not, Chucky actually saw things the way I did. Like Z House could really be a brand. Yeah. It started to get like its own thing. Yeah. Like we have a merch. Like we could really. And now Chucky is working with Mr. Beast, right? And there's drama with Mr. Beast as well. And Chucky was involved with that story. So that's the Chucky he's talking about. Oh, shit. Yeah. Chucky was. And I believe Chucky had a brother, like Tommy. He used to have a channel about zombies too. Uh, and then he moved on from that to Top 5 Central, I believe. He got very successful. And I believe he quit from that channel too. Maybe he's working on different channels right now. I'm not sure what happened with that guy, right? But Chucky moved on and started working with Mr. Beast. Uh, this is Mr. Ruffle Waffles. This is MC Sports Talk. Uh, yeah, man, they, these, uh, oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Ruffle Waffles still uh, making YouTube videos right now. But MC Sports Talk was also very, very big uh, during Black Ops Swiss Zombies time. And he kind of, kind of quit from zombies and quit from YouTubeness. I, I, I don't know what, uh, where he's at. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but. To do this is like a thing. Yeah. So he was in. He was also in. It was you and Pat that weren't. What? Wait, dude. I didn't know that. Yeah. So when you say you regret it, it really hurts me because no, it's like, dude, bro, I it's... tried. Lex himself knows he was one of the main reasons the House 3 didn't happen, but he knows how much his fans care about it and chose to blame me for it to further deflect from his own allegations. Even Damn. though Lex batted a ton of lies, the thing that made it difficult to separate and respond properly was there was one thing that he said that was true. Lex put in his video that I had cheated on my now ex-wife, something I confided in him while I was still trying to take responsibility for it. Three years ago when this happened, I started a divorce and cut contact with a friend that I had developed feelings for while still married. I've already sincerely and repeatedly apologized to my ex-wife. I know I hurt her, and that is the thing that I regret the most in my... Now, here's... Yeah, like, that's the matter between him and his ex, and if this is true, then... Yeah, it's up to his wife to forgive. Like, we're nobody to whether to uh, defend him or not defend him, or or what was called forgive him or not. Now, uh, right after Mr. T made his response video, Noah G456 did fire up a stream, and I feel like that was his biggest mistake because that live stream didn't end well. That didn't, uh, objectively, bro, like that didn't end well. That made Noah look like real, real bad, even worse, right? It would have been better off if Noah stayed silent instead of having the live stream. It looks like that he took some time and made this video, and he's making some points. But again, I'll still say, man, it doesn't mean that Lex is 100% uh, guilty or Noah is 100% guilty. Uh, uh, and you cannot necessarily point fingers at Lex or you cannot point fingers at uh, Noah either. I feel like that really, I'm being very sincere when I say this, I feel like that it's just like a shitty situation that all of these uh, YouTubers got into. Uh, all of them made mistakes. Clearly all of them made mistakes. But moral of the story, man, don't date these Hello Kitty girls, bro. Like, yeah, holy crap, a random chick ruined so many good relationships. So many relationships that could have last for a lifetime, right? And you never know, maybe, like, you know, t time heals. Maybe, and I hope that happens, I really hope that happens, where uh, these suckers get together and get along and make make content. Now, of course, they're not gonna do it now, but, like, when we got Black Ops 10 or Bruh. something, I guess, uh, they, they get along and shit, man, like, yeah, bro, uh, time does heal. But I, I don't know, man. They really got in a shitty situation, bro. Entire life. In the years since, I was honest with myself on how I even ended up in that situation. I came to terms with how immaturely I treated my emotions because I thought I had life figured out when I really genuinely didn't know anything. I, to be honest, was a fucking idiot who thought I knew better than everyone else telling me not to get married so early. So Damn. many things went into making sure that Damn. I will never, ever make that mistake ever again. That being said, this is my private life put online by someone trying to deflect from their own allegations and truly the business of no one except for yeah. those involved who I've repeatedly apologized to. The last thing I'll say in this video is- yeah, I, I can agree with that, bro. I, I can agree with that, man. To reiterate, yeah. I am not using this video to send hate towards Lex. This video is only meant to correct the narrative and provide facts about the situation so everyone can move on. And I hope that Lex has the decency to allow the people that he has hurt to move on. Thank you all for listening and Damn. I'll see you soon. Guys. 
this is that original Mr. Telex 5 response that we listened to. Check out this video on the screen. Yeah, get up to speed because there is a lot of stuff that Lex, uh, Mr. Uh, Noji did not cover that would be covered in this video here. Here are the both sides. Let me know what you've been thinking right now. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Crazy story. Crazy news, gameplay, leaks, and high leaks for GTA 6. Check it out and I'll see you right there.